It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. Hey, it's Marcus James and you're streaming the Vicksburg Daily News Brief. Vicksburg is chosen as a location to film a Lifetime movie. A Lifetime film crew visited the BB Club on Tuesday to film a segment for an upcoming movie. The movie My Stolen Life, which is a working title, is being directed by Dylan Vox and will premiere within five to six months. The BB Club will not be the only location to be filmed. Crews are expected to roll cameras at the Southern Cultural Heritage Center at some point during their two-week filming in the River City. And the Shine Project partnered with the Claiborne County Sheriff's Department to host a drive-through format distribution of water. During the distribution, 252 total cases were given out, with one per household allowed to be claimed. The event was on a first-come, first-served basis, and the project director of the organization says it's their way to give back. We do more of drive through events. And since food insecurities has showed up and people not being able to afford to get food, water, we wanted to be able to provide those to the community to encourage them to drink more water, number one, and hopefully keep them off of um, drinks and different things for the kids and maybe help with, you know, promote hydration and different things like that. So that's what we've been using these services for over the last year or so, is doing those type of events. Now, the Claiborne County Sheriff's Department will host a school supply giveaway on August the 2nd at 9 a.m. And of course, for more information, you can call the Claiborne County Sheriff's Department at 601-437-5161. State Auditor Shad White appoints new leadership and investigations division. State Auditor Shad White announced earlier this week that he has named Larry Ware as the new Director of Investigations and Debbie Cox as the new Deputy Director of Investigations at the Mississippi Office of the State Auditor. Larry Ware came to the State Auditor's Office earlier this year after serving as the Director of the Public Integrities Division at the Mississippi Attorney General's Office. And Debbie Cox is a longtime investigator at the auditor's office, most recently serving as lead special agent in South Mississippi. Now here's a quick look at what's going on in the sports world with our Vicksburg Daily News reporter, Keith Phillips. Have a drink with some friends. Get in on the action. We have fun friends. Vicksburg native Chris Winston is entering his second season with the Eagles. In the spring, Winston led the Eagles to a 3-1 record. Now he's starting for his second year in a row at center. Mississippi State baseball head coach Chris Lemonis has signed a four-year contract extension. Lemonis now will make $1.2 million a year after finishing his third year with the Bulldogs. He recently just won the national title. Jackson State University just picked up a big transfer out of the University of Tennessee. Malachi Wideman is now joining the Tigers program after playing for Tennessee last season. Wideman is one of the top recruits coming out of the 2020 class in high school. And thanks for staying with us. Here's a quick look at weather. And the Vicksburg Daily News is looking to help you celebrate your birthday. We're asking viewers to send us a picture, a brief description of them, and how old they'll be turning. And we'll do our best to share those as you send them in. And of course, remember, you can stay connected with us and get updates anytime on our website. That's VicksburgNews.com. The Vicksburg Daily News is looking to help you celebrate your birthday. We're asking our viewers to send us a picture, a brief description of them, and how old they'll be turning, and we'll do our best to share those as you send them in. Remember, you can stay connected with us and get updates anytime on our website at vicksburgnews.com.